So I'm back with another video. I wanted to show you guys what I got on my truck. Uh, just a bunch of the product that I put out uh, when I go to the grocery stores. So yeah, uh, let's get to the uh, video. Pardon the mess. It's just like a bunch of stuff right now. I'm in the process of just rearranging, but yeah. Oh yeah, let's start over here. We got some chromatic, you know what I'm saying? Santa Clara County. Uh, they have such great um, varieties. This is their gamut blend. I remember playing around with this coffee when I first be a, became a barista. And that blend is dope. It's like very um, nutty, almost like peanut butter uh, Reese's cups. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the Keynote, which is their signature blend, I believe. Look at that. Tastes like caramel and fudge. But the one thing I like about Chromatic is that they're very punchy. I, they, I really like that. they um, And they're also their, their design and graphics is super dope. It's super original. You know what I'm saying? And then right here, Chromatic Brazil. Jose Maria. Got Jose and Maria up in the house. And then lastly, the, we got the Guji Ethiopia. I feel like every coffee company always got to have an Ethiopia on deck because that's where the origin of coffee started. And then you got the Colombia decaf. Colombia is a very uh, popular Colombia is a very popular uh, country to source decaf. And so yeah, let's move on. Verve right here. It's the 1951. I believe it's supposed to be uh, like a uh, let's see. Let's read in the back. The UPC. It's a their mocha java blend. I think mocha javas are very like prevalent when people are creating blend profiles. Then down here, boom, Africa. You know what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, Ethiopia is the mother of where coffee was originated. And I have a house blend down here. It's, it's called Sea Bright. I don't want to grab it right now. It's too uh, heavy. Sermon. German blend. Uh, one thing about this blend is it, it holds dearly to my heart because when I first became a barista, I played around with this coffee and first thing I noticed it was just super acidic, like blueberry, and chocolatey, like almost like a chocolate blueberry uh, pancake. If you have ever had any of the uh, ver that version of a pancake, that this is what it tastes like. So super dope and you know everybody needs a, a little sermon in their life every Sunday you know what I'm saying and then right here got a Latin America Honduras the one thing I really like about Verve is they change up their uh, blend or their uh, their coffees for their Latins and their Africas and that's very uh, common for a practice for most um, coffee companies because sorry I'm not even talking to the camera because some coffees they run out of in a certain location so they have to switch to a different place a different farm to source their coffee and so i lied this is actually the house blend seabright seabright is the first location uh where verve i mean i think that's where their uh, roastery is so in their first cafe so yeah it's pretty cool anyway let's move on uh my favorite right here only reason why is because the my favorite coffee shop that i worked at we serve uh sight glass ethiopia like i said earlier you know what I'm saying? The motherland. Banner Dark. If anybody uh, likes uh, Dark Roast, I suggest these. Uh, by the way, uh, Sight Glass, they have um, their coffees on Amazon. So that's pretty cool. Blue Boon. Colombia. You know what I'm saying? Pablo Escobar. Don't at me, bro. Then their most popular house blend. Owl's Howl. Uh... I've dialed this in. I played around with this coffee. This coffee has been my staple, and yeah, this coffee is great. It's a, it's a coffee that um, super chocolatey, and it also has some nice uh, fruity notes to it too. And so yeah, highly recommend. And of course, I got some fills over here, but you know, we don't, we don't talk about fills. I'm just playing. I'm just playing like New Manhattan. Do fills? They're a money maker because you got people that like fills because of the brand and its prevalence in the industry. So let me move on, let me move on, let me move on to something that I uh, personally enjoy uh, representing simply because they are 
market valued at seven hundred million dollars. Hey, seven hundred million dollars. Uh, I've, I've explained this in the previous video that I made called, uh, you know, my, my series that I made. It's episode two, Coffee, Chat, and Candlebeak. Click on the thing to uh, watch it. Hold on. One sec. All right. Got some blue bottles. They come in like these plastic bags in their packaging. Uh, you cannot go wrong with their Hayes Valley Espresso. This is their signature bestseller in every store bestseller in their cafe because they use it on their espresso machine and yeah super dope we got decaf people like their decaf single origin i uh tasted this in a video before and it's super rad super dope uh, right here bella donovan also another bestseller reason why is because it smells fruity af as freak and yeah, I'd highly recommend it. You can find these guys on Amazon. On Amazon. Like, because um, when Nestle acquired them, they gained a lot of, a lot of uh, not noticeability. And so they were able to make it onto Whole Foods. And Whole Foods is owned by, or like partly owned by um, Amazon. Yeah, these are all my expired products. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. I don't want to make this video too long. But yeah, this is the life that I live. This is the work that I do. I just sell coffee. I don't do much in my spare time. I'm actually gonna make another video uh, about um, a little treat, so my specialty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I definitely want you guys to be ready for this because this is something I think is gonna blow up. And so yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like, comment, and subscribe. Watch my other videos. I'm going to tag them at the end of this video. So yeah, please stay safe, get tested, and I'll see you in the next one.